Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and today I'm going to show you something that will save you time and will just make your Steam account more tidy. Uh, if you have a million games like me, yeah, it's not so fun scrolling down. I mean, obviously you can type in whatever Counter-Strike and it'll come up, but maybe you just want to play a certain category of game. Maybe you just want to play a shooter, but you don't know what shooter yet. So, you know, you don't know exactly what game you want to play. You just want to look at your... Uh, arrangement of RPGs, you know, maybe you're in a move for an RPG, but not a particular one. You want to take a gander at your games, but you don't want to have to filter through every single game looking for each one that's an RPG, whatever, if you want to find a action game. You know what I'm talking about. If you have all these games and you want to put them in categories like this, but you have to do it manually for each and every single one. I don't know why Steam has this. It's so, it's so dumb. I don't know. They should work on that. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to use an, a third party program that will do it for us quickly. Uh, this is called Depressurizer. I have a link in the description. You can download it and drag it wherever you want. You can put it on your desktop, which I'm doing right now. But that's more for showmanship. Uh, I'm probably going to throw it in my documents after this. But just put it in a place where you know where it is. So you can open it and run it. You know, it's uh, As you can see, it already has my list of games in there for you it's probably going to send you to this page something like this it's going to ask you for uh, your steam directory which it for me it already knew where it was so that's cool and then when it knows your directory it'll show the accounts click on your account I only have one account on my system so that's it and then it will load all of your games and what you can do you can set a category you can say shooter and you can go ahead and just drag in all the games that you want it's really easy drag and drop or you can delete that you know and if you're lazy like me and you don't really care uh, you know you don't want to make any goof ones like you could just make a Call of Duty category I don't care about that I'm just gonna go ahead and let the system do it for me and how you're gonna do that is you're gonna click the first one scroll all the way down and shift click the last game Obviously, you guys probably know how to do that, but, you know, I'm just trying to tell you right now, that's how you select every single game, and once you do that, hit auto-categorize. And as you can see right here, it says 14 of the games aren't found in the local database. Uh, this download comes with a database with each category for each game, and obviously, uh, maybe they're not completely up-to-date. Some of the games might be newer so they don't have it in the database. What they're going to do is check the Steam store and find the genre of that game. So bing, bang, booty. Look at that. It has it all categorized. And as you can see, if I open up my Steam, it's not going to be uh, there yet. So what I'm going to have to do is save the profile, exit out of this, and then exit out of Steam. And what I'm going to do is open Steam again. And we're going to see it. It's going to be beautiful. Oh. Oh, baby. We got all these categories. Family. See, some of the stuff you might want to mess with. Uh, I don't know if I want one category for one game. Like Lucidity? I don't fucking know. Probably got that in a Humble Bundle. It's an okay game. Check it out. Anyways. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it might make one category for one game like this, Early Access. Uh, but hey, you know, there is some flaws, but you can go ahead and go in there and just drag it into another one. That's it. It's really nice if you don't feel like filtering through a bunch of stuff like myself. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this two thumbs up, recommended, very nice. Uh, check it out. I got the download. See, like, this also, you know, you might have situations like this. I feel Dark Souls would be rather into the RPG section. So, if you want, just open up Dep Depressurizer. Uh, and what you can do is easily go into action, find Dark Souls. Where's that at? Gotta scroll down to the Ds. And... I'm blind. We're going to go ahead and just drag that into the RPGs. It's simple as that. You know, if you have any small occurrences like that, that's all you got to do. Save it. And boom, bang. You did it. So this is a great alternative to 
wasting your time sitting there dragging and dropping for hours on end when you could just do this. So yeah, I hope this really helped you out. I know this may be a niche kind of tutorial. I know not a lot of people uh, have a million games like me, but even having like 30 games, this is definitely going to help you out. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I start to get into the groove of making videos again, but I, f I don't know. I'm not feeling in the zone to do it, but I want to be. That's the thing. I want to do it, but I also don't. I don't know. I'm a weirdo dude. Ch whatever. Thank you guys for watching once again, and see you guys next time.